this is usually where we kind of transition into what um, the downtime between like either a high school or college and getting your first job in the industry. And we usually talk about the apprehension and the nervousness and 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 how much you're doubting yourself. But at this, it doesn't seem like I, you I got did a that. Gr- no no oh. I got a great story for you. Okay. okay. Oh, so so you actually yes. did go through that. I have a I have I have a fantastic story to oh, illustrate that exact point. Let's hear it. Okay. So I'm at Spumco, right? Yeah. <laughs> I get a call saying, "Hey, Powerpuff Girls is hired." <gasps> I go, "I love really? that Really? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> um, well, I mean, I was a kid when I watched that show. <laughs> yeah. So, well, so was I. <laughs> uh, you know, because I mean, I was in high school. That, yeah, for that, sure. That's a kid. So uh, I actually put together a portfolio. I I redid my whole portfolio because yeah. like I because I didn't want to go in with Spumco stuff. Yeah. I wanted to go in with which is the more like you know the more clampity. Um, for, for those of you who don't know who Bob Clampett is, he's the Bugs Bunny guy from back in the day. And he drew, uh, uh, John uh, in the Spumco kind of style draws a lot of uh, um, uh, Clampity inspiration from that. So I, but I went, I went for, I started studying like UPA stuff and I started studying more of the graphic stuff. Sure. I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to nail this. So I put together a portfolio. I get an interview with Gendy Tartakovsky. Who? Wow. Who looks at my portfolio and he goes, yeah, you're pretty good. I'll give you a test. He goes, turn it in in two weeks. Yeah. I go, okay. I did the test. I did a whole storyboard test. And I thought it was really, really, really cool. Yeah. Then it gets down to, all right, now I'm going to take it in. And I did it. You didn't, wait, you didn't. I didn't turn it in. Turn it in. Why? I was, I was too, I was too afraid. What? No, no, wow. you asked for it. Yeah. I was too afraid. So and you like, were, you were nervous about getting, what getting I was say? just, I was just so nervous because I was like, well, <laughs> I almost said to myself, if I don't try, I can't fail. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I know. Yeah. This is why this is important. This is yeah. important. And I'm, you know, at the time I'm, I'm like 19, yeah. you know, so I'm still, you know, like, again, I mean, I'm not saying that people when they're 19 aren't woke, but like, I certainly wasn't, you know, <laughs> but, but I was too, I was too afraid and I didn't yeah. do it and I didn't turn it in ever. And but so, I already had a job, so I was like, well, I already have a yeah. job and I'm going to stick with this and whatever. Do you think it was maybe you were in your comfort zone at Spumco and you didn't want to like jump out of that? Maybe, but I also think, you know, maybe I didn't think I was ready yet or okay. I, I mean, I don't know. I can't I like that's that's the problem with that voice. Yeah. Like that voice doesn't come from anywhere. That voice is just what everybody has, yeah. which is that voice that says, you know, everything you do isn't good enough. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. that's being an that's artist. Everyone, come yeah. on. We all know that. Y'all know that. Yeah. Um, so, that being said, so years later, mm-hmm. years later, I end up, uh, uh, thanks to Eric Pringle, mm-hmm. uh, doing a hand-drawn animation for Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, which is Craig McCracken's show. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, uh, also the creator of Power of Growth. So, I actually met him in person. And he was like, dude, your animation's rad. And I did all these like slow motion scenes. Yeah. Because it was a flash animated show. Where you do need a certain amount of hand-drawn stuff, but there's a lot of things you can do digitally to manipulate the characters. But they needed like slow-mo slam. It was this whole basketball thing, yeah. and they needed all these slow-motion slam dunks and camera turnarounds and all this stuff. So I hand-drew all that stuff to the point where they, uh, at one point, Eric Pringle's office was completely wallpapered with all the drawings that I had done. No, that's sure. awesome. Um, and it was an awesome experience. And Craig McCracken was like, "Dude, you're awesome. Thank you so much." And and I was like, "Oh, wow." Cool, thank I you. I am good yeah. enough. And no, so check it out. So I actually told him the story yeah. about how I did the test and how I did the thing. And so I brought the board in yeah. and I showed it to him and he pages through it and he goes, Oh, you would have totally gotten the job. Oh my uh, god. Like, oh! And that was like seven years later. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Wow, like, you still had your test seven years I, I later. I think it's in that drawer over there, actually. Oh my god. I think I hold on to it as a reminder of yeah. like to not to not limit yourself. Yes. You know, that's, that's why I wanted to tell that story because seriously, even when you're in the game, yeah. you can still tell yourself that you're not good enough. And you just, you just don't listen to that. Like, yeah. like if you don't feel like you're not good enough, then do whatever you can to trick or not trick yourself to prove to yourself yeah. that you are good enough. And sometimes that's just getting the knowledge, mm-hmm. reading a book. I mean, like talking to someone else who's an expert to give you advice. Yeah, that's sure. there's, always a good one. There's, there's a million ways to judo your brain around that self doubt. <laughs> And yeah. you gotta do it because yeah. otherwise you will never do anything. Um, but that being said, do I regret it? At this point, no. Yeah. At the time, absolutely. Yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah oh my sure. god, I bet. You know. So. <laughs> yeah, that's great, man. Yeah. So we got we gotta like clip that out and like make it its own video because yeah. that's a great story. Yeah. I have never told that story publicly. Yet. Oh yeah. I've told oh. it to friends, but never on any sort of broadcast. You, so you guys are the first. That's yeah. the exclusive story. Special. Yeah. I'm, I'm honored. 
That's awesome, man. Should I do the intro again, or are we good to go? No. Great. Oh, there we yeah, go. Let's go. Okay, so there was an intro, and then there was about 45 seconds to a minute of awkwardness. <laughs> that will serve as our musical intro today, just us rambling about nothing. Uh, and now, here we are.